Don't save it. It don't want to be saved. Don't save it. It don't want to be saved. How y'all doing? What's up? Girl, Jeannie, leave it alone, girl. They are telling me she over there begging. Begging Jeezy, please, she want that marriage back. And guess what, honey? I'm hearing he didn't kick her out. Must to. They are on the blog talking about she don't even know where she going to live at. Okay? She says she is still devastated. Y'all know she been begging and pleading Jeezy to take all back. Baby, give me one more chance. Biggie, Biggie, give me one more chance. What? Hey, Biggie, give me one more chance. Biggie, Biggie, give me one more chance. Yes, honey. That's what they're saying, Jeezy. I mean, Jenny. Je What's her name? Jeannie? Jeannie Ma? She's over there begging Jeezy. Give her one more chance. Jeezy, Jeezy, give me one more. Oh, shit. Hold on. Jeezy, give me one more chance. Jeezy, Jeezy, give me one more chance. What? <laughs> Jeezy, give me one more chance. Jeezy, Jeezy, give me one more chance. What? Yes, honey. And honey, he said he's done. He said he done wash his hands with her. Okay? And you know what they say. When a woman's fed up, my mind is say, what? It ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. And this words, when a man fed up, when a nigga fed up, ain't nothing you can do about it. And you know, they say, if a nigga fed up, he fed up, fed up, fed up, fed up. Ain't nothing you can do about it, girl. So save your face. And people are saying, Jenny, you thought you were different, honey. That's your problem. You should have saw all those other black girls, how he treated them, and you ain't get a whiff of that, honey, because you thought you was different. And they're telling me that Jenny, she came up in that thing, talking about some, she gonna submit. You know, these women don't know what they were doing with, Jean, with Jeezy because they don't know how to be a woman in him. They don't know how to submit. They don't know how to say, yes, sir, no, sir. Just do whatever he want her to do. So that's how she uh, put herself, you know, now they're calling her the great pretender, okay, because she's switching bait. She, she, what is, switching bait, bait and switch, what the fuck? That's what she doing. They are saying that uh, she even, she said all her work, <laughs> get them likes up, y'all. Come on, please, let's get them likes up. Okay, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, The Messy Sweet Spot. Let's get these likes up. They're saying that, uh, you know she work in L.A., girl. Okay? Um, and he, they say that he live in Atlanta. He works in Atlanta. Well, they both, both work, have a house in Atlanta. But I guess she's always working. So she even decided not to do so much work so she can spend more time with him in Atlanta. But that shit ain't work. And uh, Jeezy don't want nothing to do with her. And all the black men are saying they go, they'll take her to Pound Town. Not Chinatown, girl. <laughs> they gonna take her ass to Pound Town. And they are saying that uh, Jeannie, Ma, it's over for her. She can't get no white man no more. She can't get no Asian man. They said, what Asian man? What white man gonna want a, a, a Asian woman after a big old big black king been up in hall? Okay. And only thing she can do is get with another black brother. And you know he gonna trash her worse than Jeezy trashed her. So, honey, she is just lost in the sauce. This was the wrong move on her part. I don't know what she was thinking. Now, on her show, she tells us within a year, you know when the marriage is, is, is horrible. You didn't see this shit coming? And she also said they've been having problems for a damn long time. Girl, as soon as it started, they had problems. Okay? But Jeannie Ma, she want to play the great pretender. She want to come out here and make it sound like, oh, it's nice and everything is perfect. Girl, he cooking for me. He's doing this. And Jeezy don't give a damn about all that. Jeezy's a real nigga, okay? He did with real things, okay? Um, he put on for his city. On, on for my, I put on. And they are saying, you know, that trip they just came from, people's confused. They said, well, <laughs> get them likes up. They said, <laughs> get them goddamn likes up. Shit. They said, uh, you know, Jeezy went on trips with her and I guess was doing all this nice stuff. So she didn't see it coming. 
come to find out the reason why he went on that trip with you, girl, to promote his damn book, okay? He was using your ass in the last quarter to promote his book. And I don't understand. You are a woman on here on a real talk, giving women advice and giving people advice. And you're supposed to be smart and aware in your spiritual senses. And you didn't, you didn't discern this nigga, okay, niggas? Niggas are easy to detect, okay? Okay, you know when a nigga ain't there. You know. So I don't know what was going on. People are saying it was just in denial. Uh, but yeah, Jeezy, she, he done. Now, at first, people thought that when maybe Jeezy gave her another chance because he just got finished doing an a, a, a interview and he put his fingers up and you saw the wedding ring and he posts a picture of him putting his finger up with the wedding ring. So people said, okay, what is he doing? Maybe there's hope. Ugh. Hell nah, he trolling y'all again. He just doing that to sell and get more damn attention, okay? Okay, he is playing her ass like a fiddle. And it's sad to see, she's over there sad. Do y'all feel sorry for her? Okay, people still don't feel sorry for her cause she got her meat on the side now, okay? And Jeezy said he still will hit it, you know what I'm saying? He still will take her ass to pound town, but that's about it, okay? So it's a sad case in this situation. Comment, let us know what you guys think about this. And I'm your girl, Miss Ruby May, honey. And guess what? People starting to call me Miss Messy, and I'm starting to like it, okay? <laughs> Comment, let us know what else y'all think about this, and I'm out.